Are you ready to come for a ride on crusty bus lines? Let's do it. Yeah. G'day, crusty bus driver back here again just to take you for another ride. This morning, I had a great day this morning. A couple of stoners got on the bus with their surfboards. God, I love these guys. They are just so easy to take the piss out of. You know what I mean? They get on, they go, Lock a ticket down at Burley Heads, please, driver. Uh, yeah, uh, would you like fries with that? <laughs> well, after that comment, the eyes just rolled back. I think they had a couple of brekkie bongs, you know, and they got the boards going. Hey, dude, I just want to get down the beach, man. Yeah, well, sure, I said. But McDonald's isn't open yet. What are you talking about, man? Yeah, boys, I'll take you down the beach. But you're going to have to throw your surfboards on the roof. I've got a couple of hockey straps that might help. Hockey straps, dude. My board, man. I, I carry it on the bus, man. All the other drivers let me carry it on the bus, man. Yeah, but I ain't all the other drivers, am I? This is the crusty bus lines. You gotta play it by my rules. Hey, dude. Are you that driver that I seen on YouTube, man? Wow. You're real. No, actually, I'm not. You're just tripping, man. You're not even on a bus. I'm not on a bus, man. But I was at the bus stop, man. How can I not be on a bus? You're a bus driver. No, I'm not. I'm the Colonel from KFC. The Colonel, man. Where's your beard, man? Hey, boys. If you sit down and put your surfboards next to you on your seat and don't talk to anyone, I'll take you down the beach. Whoa, thanks, dude. Oh, you're so cool, man. Oh, you're the best bus driver in the world, man. And they're fun. Stoners are fun. I love the stoners. I mean, you can say anything to them, and their brains are just slowly ticking over. Is this happening too quickly for me? But the drunks, well, now that's another story altogether. I mean, some guys are fantastic. They get on there, hey dude, no worries. I just want to sit down and go home. Thank you. It's all good. I'm happy. And then there's the aggressive ones. The ones that are just expecting to get thrown off the bus. They go, they, they've been knocked back by the taxis, they've been knocked back by the trains, they just want to get home. And they're there and they've come up, shoulders back. I'm getting on your bus! With me, I just go, sure thing, dude. Got any money? <laughs> I'll take you home. Sit down. Front seat. Closest to the door. In case you're going to throw. We're on our way. <laughs> Thought I had a fight on my hands. <laughs> and then there's the drunk little princess. The one with the shoes in one hand and the purse in the other hand trying to get on to the bus. Driver! Take me home. Then I just said, I don't think my wife would appreciate that. Driver, my home. Okay. And where might that be? At my house. Okay. 
Can we start with the suburb, maybe? Where do you live? What is your address? Or somewhere nearby? Mm, that way. Then there's my favourite. The middle-aged women who turn up in the middle of the day, between 11 and 1, who have had a little bit of Valium. It goes like this. Now, I just need to get to the club. My life has just been so bad lately. I've just had so many problems. I just can't get ahead. I don't know why. I try, but everything goes wrong. All the men hate me. All the world hates me. Even my children hate me. I just can't get on. I don't know why. I just want to get along. And my response to them is, Ha! Get a life. You know, get on with it. Deal with it. Get over it. Make a bridge. Cross it. You know, the whole story of work it out, dude. So there's my description today on some of my passengers. Drunks and druggos. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. So just remember, this is the crusty bus driver on the crusty bus lines. You want to come for a ride? You better subscribe. See you next week. See you later.